Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm here in Jaipur and I'm getting ready for a wedding. So I'm going to record how I get ready for the wedding and share it with you guys. So let's begin with the makeup. I've just come out of the shower. So now I'm going to prep my skin with some cream and then um put makeup on. So oh, what is this? So let's get started. So I have like placed you guys here on a shelf so that you can see everything. So um, I'm gonna prep my skin with this oil. I'm gonna apply a little oil on my skin. Actually, I'm gonna put it on my hands first and then I'm gonna warm it up and then put it on my skin. Now I'm going to do a little bit of facial exercises so that my uh, puffiness on my face gets removed. So the first one is this. Okay, I'm done with moisturizing. Now I'm gonna put some cream on my face because weddings require a lot of makeup and the makeup is quite heavy so you don't want it to go into your skin. Hence, cream. Okay, now we're gonna start with the actual makeup that is primer. So primer is very important because you don't want the makeup to go into your layers of the skin. Hence. For my hair, for my wedding hair, I'm gonna record a separate video for you guys because I'm gonna do some nice hairstyle. So that'll be a separate video. Sorry, I was looking in the mirror. Um, and it's done. The priming is done. Now we're going to start with concealing. So I don't like to do a lot of thick base because I don't have any like marks of pigmentation on my skin. So I really don't like to do anything thick on my skin. Which is why I wore the minimum. Like we've attended like three functions and I have not put foundation on even the one function okay so I don't um, so I think my makeup remover is inside I'm gonna get that uh, oh makeup remover will be setting spray oh yes I have one more I think yeah. so this makeup spray is from Miss Claire and they sent this to me to review it so let's see The smell is good, quite good. Let's see how it works. Always remember to just put a little water on your sponge or else the spray. So that it's just or, or rose water. Anything that you like. Now you're gonna just like blend it all in. One second, I'm going to show it to you. So we're just blending in. I think I have a pimple coming up here. 
So I'm gonna apply the green concealer. that's it like that's what i do on my face like sorry sorry for that bad angle but that's all that i do on my face because i don't like a lot of makeup i think you should just do less makeup because less is more and that's about it Mark fresh now and got stuck. This is broke. My green concealer. So you can put green concealer on the spots that are red. It's for red spots. So it's a very good thing to put. This is the green concealer I use from Cover FX. I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer, like a dot, yeah, just a dot to cover the green. Now let's begin with the eyes. That's my Lehenga in black. I'm gonna do a smudgy eye. A brown smudgy eye. I don't know if you can hear me guys. But I'm gonna do a brown smudgy eye. And let's begin. shade the lighter shade is this so we're gonna go ahead with that and then build up now we're gonna go with a more heavy shade that is the brown shade I'm doing a brown smudgy eye so it doesn't look too much in the morning I'm recording a makeup tutorial. Please don't come and say. Build this shade up with a brown shade, and we're gonna layer it twice. Hola, hi. <laughs> on our eyelid because if we layer it twice only then can you see the brown smudge and then it's gonna look good so i'm gonna do the same thing on my left eye and i don't use any eye brush because i think that it just uh it's like fingers are more convenient and with the eye brush it's, it just gets too difficult So I'm going to layer my left eye again, doing the same thing. And it is very easy guys, it's super easy to layer your eyeshadow and it's super easy to do these brown smudgy eyes. You don't require any makeup artist to do this because it's so easy. So that's how I've layered, layered my uh, left eye so like that i'm just gonna put a little more on my right so that the tone just matches so the brown looks really good now as i'm wearing a black lehenga there has to be a hint of darkness um so i'm 
I'm going to use a dark shade. So as that was a burgundy brown, I am using a proper brown brown to this shade. I don't know the names because they are not mentioned. So I'm going to use a proper brown brown to like cover my eyelids. Yeah, so now I think I'm done because I have like actually um, smudged them and now they will give a smudgy look after I apply Kajal. So that's how they look and I'm wearing a black lehenga, a black colorful lehenga. So I think that I don't want to go too loud with my makeup because I don't want to look like very overdone. Hence I'm going to use the perfect subtle shades. So next shade is this, this one. This is the MAC Power Hungry Palette. And now we're gonna go ahead with that. That's a light, that is a little dark shade. It goes into the grays. And just gonna put a little bit of it. Or else if you don't like like these shades, then you can always go ahead with a glitter shade. So actually I'm gonna take a glitter shade now as um, glitters always look amazing. So I'm, and it's a day wedding. So I'm going to take this glitter shade and I'm going to do a little bit of glitter like this golden glitter shade and I'm going to put it just on my eyelid like just uh, you just have to like pat it on your eyelids I'll just give you an example like this So that has a hint of glitter on your eyelids. As weddings are all about glitter and dazzle, you know with that. So that's that. And then I'm gonna use my um, highlighter to highlight the inner bow of my eye, like this. right you highlight the inner bow of your eye so that your eyes look really big um and now i'm gonna start with my eyeliner and my kajal and then i'll be done with my eyes this is for the smudging and this is the kajal okay so for the kajal i cannot look into the camera and put because i'm not that professional Hence, I'm going to look there and put it. Always remember that if you have a smudgy look to your eye, always remember to uh, go a little dark on the outside. Not on the inside, but on the outside. Actually, my eyes hate kajal, so just start watering as soon as something like kajal comes up. I really like this. Okay. Now we have to do the inner waterline, which is the upper one. Hence, you're going to open the eyes, look up. Right? 
So that's how it's done and now I'm gonna do my eyeliner. Again for the eyeliner I cannot look inside the camera because I'm not a professional hence I will do it in front of the mirror. I hate applying an eyeliner because it takes like so much fucking time and then also after hota nahi hai wo just hate applying it oh my god this eye looks so good and this eye is looking so bad because the eyeliner is not properly done hence I hate applying eyeliners So I think that this eyeliner is not looking good. I'll just come back. I'll put a wet wipe in. So I have the wet wipe here with me. And the liner needs to be cleaned. And the liner is not looking good. Hence, just clean the liner. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to like, just put a line. Oopsie. Here, yeah, let's actually like this. It's so difficult to apply a liner. Yeah, now I think it looks a little bit more like doable. It's almost the same, I just think that's like a little bit. Hulkas, I mean, it's cool. I'm bugger that you feel. Now oh, I'll just smudge the kajal. Okay, so that's how my eyes look like. I know it's a little bit of a difference, but okay, I cannot do it right now. Now I'm gonna put white liner. And now I'm gonna do a trick that I always do to make my eyes look like winged. So difficult to do makeup and to get ready. People think it's so easy.
person that I always do because I just like doing it. It's like a wing. What the hell is wrong with I think it's just because I just used a wet wipe, hence it's not blinking up. Doing makeup is so difficult. I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. Eyebrows is quite easy. Like to find your eyebrows and just brush them in the end. So done with my eyebrows. Now comes the blush on the highlighter. So we're gonna start with the blusher. This is the blush I use, and I think that you've seen it in almost all of my videos because I really like this blush. Obsessed with this blush. It was a limited edition thing at Kiko, and I got it ASAP. So, I'm just gonna like blush a little bit. Highlighter, that's the same thing that's from Kiko because I love the collection that was the limited edition collection. Using the same brush. Bronzer. I'm using my eyeshadow as my bronzer. This eyeshadow color, which is a dark color, I'm using that as a bronzer. End this whole thing by lining my lips. Oh, even mascara is left. Okay. 
I'm just gonna pick you guys up and bring you guys close. Now the last thing is brushing off the ex excess. So that's my look for the lehenga and I'm just gonna apply mascara and lip gloss and then I'll be completely ready and I'm really liking this look because it looks amazing. I've opened my hair as well so this looks quite amazing and that's it for today you guys. That's how I look. That's my look. I'm just gonna add some mascara for volume. For giving volume to my lashes and i'm using the damn girl mascara from too faced so that's that and i'm done so i'm going to show you my final look with the lehenga in a bit bye okay guys i just got done with my hair i'm really sorry i couldn't record a vlog about it it's because uh, i was really busy and i had to curl them with an ironing rod and then like tie them up like that so it took a lot of time I'm really sorry but the next I'm gonna do a tutorial on this look so did all this by myself and now we're gonna go